Over the quarantine, I've gotten into Dungeons and Dragons. And by into Dungeons and Dragons, I mean watching people play Dungeons and Dragons. Because A, I don't have friends, and B, there's a global pandemic. However, what I can try and do is make D&D classes inside of Skyrim. So, I made the Storm Herald Barbarian. Barbarian is one of the classes that can be played in D&D, and it's a high health and strength warrior that can enter a rage to increase damage and resistances. Storm Herald is one of the many subclasses for Barbarians, and it adds elemental magic to the Barbarian, which is released when they go into a rage. There's a lot of detail in the classes and subclasses of D&D, so I'm not going to be able to cover them all here. Additionally, many of the skills and abilities of the classes of D&D don't really work in Skyrim since they're vastly different games. Hopefully, I can get enough of the main themes of the class to make it feel like you're actually playing a storm Barbarian in Skyrim. For this build, I'm going to try and match up the skills from the D&D class with the Skyrim counterparts. But overall, the Skyrim skills that we're going to be using is Two-Handed, Alteration, Destruction, and to a lesser extent, Enchanting, Smithing, and Restoration. First off, the race for this build that fits best is Orc, because it has Berserker Rage, which is similar enough to the Rage mechanics in Dungeons & Dragons, with both of them reducing damage taken and increasing damage dealt. The Tower Standing Stone also helps mirror the skills, which gives the Barbarian extra takiness. Alteration is a skill that might be surprising for this build, but it's a decent way to have the Unarmored Defense skill from D&D. Unarmored Defense allows Barbarians to not wear armor and still have a decent armor rating. In Skyrim, we're going to follow this by not wearing armor and using Alteration Flesh Spells to mimic the Unarmored Defense bonus, which means we're going to have a decent amount of magicka even though we are a warrior. Two-handed fits the aesthetic of a Barbarian, as many of them use Great Axes or Great Swords in D&D. With this build, I use Great Swords since in Skyrim there's a perk that increases the critical hit chance of Great Swords, which mirrors the Barbarian's skill of the Brutal Critical, which increases the critical damage with melee attacks. The rest of the perks in the two-handed tree are good as well to help increase damage and lower stamina cost. However, the limb splitter and skull crusher perks aren't useful since we'll be using great swords. The destruction skill is where the Stormheld part of this build comes into action. Stormheld pretty much surrounds the barbarian with elemental magic whenever it enters a rage. In D&D, the magic is desert, sea, and tundra. Desert is fire, sea is lightning, and tundra is frost. I mimic the Storm Aura and Raging Storm D&D skills in Skyrim by using the Cloak Destruction spells. If you want to play this build, pick one of the three types of elemental damage, fire, lightning, or frost, and roll with it by taking the perks to increase the damage of the element of choice. I chose fire since it has the lowest magicka cost and does a lot of damage to Skyrim's creatures. Also, enchanting your gear with resistance to the type of elemental damage you chose will mirror the Storm Soul skill. So if you chose flame, enchant your gear with flame resistance. The avoid death perk from the restoration tree is similar enough to the relentless rage skill from D&D. Both prevent you from dying when you get too low health. This leaves us with smithing, which doesn't really fit in the skills of the barbarian, but it makes sense to have smithing to be able to improve your greatsword so it doesn't fall off in damage late in the game. Now with shouts, there is two that I can think of that work well with this build. First is elemental fury. This shout increases the speed that you can swing your sword, which acts as the extra attack skill you get in D&D. Become Ethereal does the same thing as the Avoid Death perk in stopping you from dying from fatal damage, but it's more of an oh shit button instead of hoping the Avoid Death perk procs. Barbarians have the highest health of any of the classes in Dungeons & Dragons, so health should be the highest of your three stats. Barbarians also usually have their highest skill of strength. There isn't a strength skill in Skyrim, but stamina is close enough. This means that stamina should be a second stat you focus, which means for every three levels you should be adding two health and one stamina. Magicka is tricky with this build, because barbarians don't cast spells in D&D, but to get the effect that we want, we will have to cast them in Skyrim. This means that you're going to have to have enough magicka to cast both our elemental cloak and flesh spells at the beginning of the battle. I can cast both flame cloak and iron flesh spells with 170 magicka with both of the Adept Destruction and Adept Alteration perks. You can also use enchanted items to increase your magicka to be able to cast the two spells if you don't want to put stat points into magicka. The weapon I used was a Steel Greatsword since it feels the most like a D&D sword. I chose Greatsword because it's the highest crit chance which fits well with the build. We do not use armor for this build, so I use Fur Trim Cloak and Fur Lined Boots which gives the adventure aesthetic that we're looking for. That was a lot of information to throw at you guys, so here's an overview. The race you should choose is Orc for the Berserker Rage. 
Use the tower stone for extra tankiness. The main skills are two-handed, alteration, enchanting, and destruction, with restoration and smithing as secondary options. Health should be the highest stat with stamina as a secondary. And make sure you have enough magicka to cast your spells. Use a great sword in any non-armor clothing that looks good to you. When entering combat, throw in your elemental cloak of choice and your flesh spell and run in the battle with your great sword, casting elemental fury shout to attack fast and become ethereal when you almost die. Welp, that was a Storm Herald Barbarian. I know I can't make the build exactly like the class, but I feel like I made it pretty close with the options I was given. Maybe I'll try and make another one of these build with a D&D class in the future, or maybe I won't, who knows.